Hi everyone, welcome back for another lesson. This is going to be a short one. Uh, it's going to be on the pH scale, so we will be talking about acids and bases, but in a different context. So, pH, what does it mean? It means potential of hydrogen. In other words, how many hydrogen ions are released by a substance when it dissolves and dissociates in water. You're going to say, but okay, but only acids dissociate and release hydrogen, not bases. Yes, but bases, because they're kind of the opposite of acids, um, we also use the pH scale to determine if an acid or if a base, sorry, is strong or weak. In other words, if it dissociates a lot or not. So we use the scale to determine if a substance is very acidic or very basic or alkaline and at the same time, we determine if it will conduct electricity very well or uh, if it dissociates a lot and creates a lot of ions. Okay, so as it uh, says over here, the amount of ions present is measured in mole per liter. Okay, so that's the, uh, the convention, the unit that is used by everyone when we talk about a pH scale. So the amount of H plus ions is measured in moles per liter. Now, we've said that before. If something is a strong acid, there is a high dissociation. So there's a high production of H plus ions. These square brackets mean concentration. And if there's a lot of H plus ions, we will say that the solution has a very low pH or closer to one. Now I want to clarify something. We are used to seeing a scale that goes from 1 to 14. Now there are various pH scales. That is the most common one, but you have some that go from 0 to 14, some even go into the minuses. We rarely ever use those. We use the conventional one that goes from 1 to 14. Okay. So here when it says a very low pH is closer to 1, that's based on the conventional scale. Now when we look at the conventional scale, the middle point is at pH 7, and that's the neutral point. A solution that is at pH 7 is not acidic, not basic. Now from 1 to 7 over here, so let's say I was to put the 1 over here, and 14 over here. So 1 to 7 is acidic, and 7 to 14 is basic or alkaline. Now, if something is very acidic, it's going to be closer to 1 in terms of pH. If something is very basic or alkaline, it's going to be closer to 14 in terms of pH. Now, if something, if a solution, I should say, so let me just write down here 3, 4, 5, and 6. So a solution that has a pH of, let's say, 4 versus a pH of 5, the difference between the two is not 1, it's actually a power of 10. Okay, so a pH of 5 is 10 times less acidic than a pH of 4, or a pH of 4 is 10 times more acidic than a solution with a pH of 5. And we can say the same thing about this side of the scale. So something with a pH of 13 is 10 times less basic than a solution with a pH of 14. So again, it's always a factor of 10 between the different um, graduations on this scale. Now, where do these numbers come from? Well, essentially, it comes from the concentration. So if you look over here at this chart, um, as an example, if you have a concentration of H plus ions of 0 0.001, we could transform this in scientific notation and say it's 1 times 10 to the negative 4. Well, the exponent, the 4 here, corresponds to a pH of 4. There's obviously math behind that. I'm not going to go into the mathematical explanation of it, but just know that a pH of 4 basically corresponds to 1 times 10 to the negative 4 in terms of concentration of H plus ions. The same way, if something has a, a concentration, if a solution has a concentration of 0.1 uh, H plus ions in the solution, well, it's 1 times 10 to the negative 1 
so it corresponds to a pH of 1. So you can see here, the higher the concentration of H+, plus, so if I, if I compare this concentration to this concentration, this one has a higher concentration relative to this one that has a lower concentration of H plus ions. So this one having the higher concentration would actually have a lower pH. So that's why when we look at the scale, we say that this is more acidic, higher concentration of H plus ions. This is less acidic, lower concentration of H plus ions. And again, the neutral point is seven. If a solution has a pH of 7, it's neither acidic or basic. It's neutral. Okay, so just to reinforce this concept, what is the difference between a solution of pH 2 and pH 4? So, oh boy, I can't draw straight. So if I have pH 2, pH 3, pH 4, we said that between each number, there's a factor of 10. So 10 times 10, it would be a difference of 100. So pH 2 is 100 times more acidic than a pH of 4. Now, if we go here, next question, if solution A is 10,000 times more alkaline than solution B, and solution B has a pH of 9, what's the solution A's pH? Okay, so again, I can't draw straight, but bear with me. So I have pH 9. We know that this is solution B. We want to know that, um, oh, sorry, I should continue this like this. Uh, we want to know what is the pH of solution A. Now, solution A is 10 times more alkaline. So in other words, you have to go in this direction. So where is solution A? It's somewhere over here. We want to know what the pH is. So let's put the other values. 12, 13, and 14. And we said 10,000. So 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. Okay, because it's times 10 every time. So that means my solution A has a pH of 13. So that's how you analyze it. Remember, it's always times 10, so you count 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, we land on pH 13. So solution A has a pH of 13. So here we have a third question. If a solution has a pH of 5, what should be the pH of the solution used to neutralize it? So again, we need a pH scale. If we want to neutralize something, we need to um, obtain a pH of 7. So my solution has a pH of 5, and I want to neutralize it, so I want to go in that direction. How many values of pH must I cover? I must cover 1 and 2. So I need something that is equivalent to pH 5, but on the other side of the scale. So on the alkaline side, so 8 and 9. So if I'm going to go twice over, or 100 times I should say, because every, one, every time we jump one value it's times 10, if I have something that is 100 times more acidic than the neutral value, then I need something that's 100 times more basic or alkaline in order to cancel its effect. So I would need a pH of 9 in order, in order to neutralize a solution of pH 5. So that's it for the pH scale. I hope this was clear. Again, if you have questions, post them in the section below, in the comment section, and um, I will respond as promptly as I can. And otherwise, I will see you for your next lesson next time. So until then, take care.